In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Edge to use the split screen and basically create a really cool AI driven workflow or maybe not even workflow, you know, it's it's just something really simple. Like you want to use both Perplexity and ChatGPT for something and then how to uh, make it more simple. So we have this split screen function here in uh, Microsoft Edge, which is really cool. Uh, I actually like Microsoft Edge more than um, Chat, uh, sorry, <laughs> than Google Chrome. Uh, because uh, it's a little bit lighter, it has all of the extensions, it has a great reader mode, but it also has this split screen uh, function. Okay, so uh, let's say that you want to just research something and you just use uh, ChatGPT and Perplexity. So we have this uh, tab open here and then you just go to uh, the split screen, you click on that and then you can uh, just choose which tab you want to see in, um, you know, on the other side. So then we just click on uh, ChatGPT or it can be Google Gemini or whatever. And then you can already see that we have this uh, really cool split screen uh, version. So now it's just sitting in um, one tab. Maybe I will just, you know, show it to you like this. So uh, you can see that if I click on the left, it will show our perplexity, but if I'm doing something here on the right, it will show uh, chat GPT. Uh, but you have also these uh, just options here. So if you click on that, you can see that uh, you can open this web page as a new um, tab. You can exit the split screen view and you can swap left and right tabs and you can also split screen horizontally. So let's say that we just click on this one and now, um, this whole thing is just horizontal. Uh, but then uh, let's say that the vertical version will probably be better for most users unless you have some kind of vertical setup for your monitor. Uh, and you can just swap them. So usually uh, that's how I use it. I have ChatGPT here on the left and uh, Perplexity on the right. And you can also just drag mm, these uh, windows uh, very easily. Okay, so a really cool uh, thing to do is to basically uh, just pin this uh, tab and now you have this kind of AI assistant always available in your Microsoft Edge browser. Uh, and um, the really cool part is that you have both of them, okay, because ChatGPT doesn't have access to all of the latest information. And I know that they are working on uh, creating the search GPT thing, but it's not yet a thing. Uh, but Perplexity is really amazing for gathering knowledge. Uh, and you can use the mm, pro version for free, but you have just four searches uh, left today, but you know, it reloads every four hours. So I have found that mm, you can use the pro version um, quite a bit. Uh, and then uh, once it's over, <laughs> you can use the free version and it's working uh, pretty well um, as well. Uh, so for example, uh, we could ask something very simple like, tell me about the importance of a great thumbnail for a YouTube video. Great snail, right? Okay, so it will just do this thing over here, but tell me about the importance of using an air purifier in your home office to maximize your health or something like that, okay? So right now uh, we are already mm, rolling here on both sides, okay? and. You can already probably uh, see how dynamic uh, this process is. Uh, you can just uh, check two different things at the same time. You can get uh, information from you know, one side and then uh, throw it into the other side and so on and so forth. So um, I highly recommend it, especially if you are just using a Microsoft Edge. I'm not sure if there is something like that for 
Google Chrome, I don't think so, but maybe, maybe you can check it out. Uh, but yeah, that is just something that I wanted to share. So uh, that's it. And I will see you in the next video.